The question here is asking about the subdued self, the prostration of forgiveness. Subdued self, the sebab is that a person is not in salat. And the reason for the subdued self is that people forget in their prayer. Why do they not remember that? And I want you to pay attention to this. Man zal fi salatih, aw man anqasa minha, mutaamidan baqat salatu. Whoever increases or decreases from the prayer intentionally, his salat is written on the board. Due to a statement of Allah Alaihi Wasallam, pray the way that you all see me pray. So we must, we must pray the way that He prayed. We don't increase on it, nor do we decrease from it. As for the person who decreases from it out of uh, seven, forgetfulness. If he forgot a pillar from amongst his pillars, then this person doesn't have to do the subtle. Rather, he goes back to what, what, what he forgot and he, he does, he performs it. As a person who forgot the poor, for example. Or he made one uh, said one prostration, he didn't do two. So this person here wants to remember that he forgot a pillar, he returns back to it and performs it. But the, if the person doesn't remember until he's in the same position again in the next unit of prayer, in this case, the previous previous unit of prayer is been a dumb and void, and this unit of prayer is now taking its place. As well, if the person uh, forgets one of the wajibat requirements of, of the salah, as for the person who he forgot the, the first tashahud, he didn't uh, say the tashahud or the sit in it, he stood up, he stood up immediately. Or he forgets the tasbihat uh, in the Rukur of student likes, so he comes up from the Rukur forgetting to say the, the, the tasbihat. So he doesn't uh, return back to this uh, to this to this, the, the, the prostration board. He doesn't return to return back to the bound position to say it now. So this person, or even if the shower, this person has uh, missed a wajib requirement of the salat. And uh, this decrease here, this what he left off, has been done out of forgetfulness. So this person in this case, he makes uh, two prostrations of forgiveness before the Taslim to make up for what he forgot. Now, as for if he increases something in his prayer due to forgetfulness, as for the person who makes uh, two uh, who makes, who makes two rukurs. So he makes two rukurs in one unit of prayer. Or he makes three prostrations. And or the person who he stands up for a fifth unit of prayer and a prayer that is four units of prayer and he goes back and sits down. Or he makes a salat. Or he makes the teslim uh, before the salat is over. In this case, he's adding a teslim to his salat. So this increase on the prayer, uh, what the person has forgotten, he makes the post two prostrations of forgiveness after teslim. And the meaning here is that uh, the meaning here with the prostration of forgiveness after the taslim, the person makes the taslim to the right and left as you do so in a normal fashion, then you make two prostrations of forgiveness, then you make taslim again. Now I'm going to repeat it again. If you decrease or increase your prayer intentionally, your, your salat is written on the board. If you uh, decrease 
in your prayer, in Brooklyn, and pull up from the prayers, you have to come back now and perform that pull. Now, if what you have decreased is a wise or requirement, and you've done so out of forgetfulness, then you do the two prostrations of forgetfulness before Teslim, before the Salah. If you have increased in your prayer uh, due to forgiveness, you, you make the prostration, the two prostrations of forgiveness after the salam, after testimony. These are the religious verdicts for the Sajjud Saho for when you increase and decrease. Now you have another prostration of forgiveness to the Sahab, and it is due to what's called shek, doubt. And if shek for salat, he doesn't become salat. Like a person who has doubt in, in his salat, he doesn't know how many that he's prayed. Come out of shek, how salat, salat and amal ba'an. Like the person who has doubt that I prayed three or four. Mathal who is salat al asr. Perhaps he's praying salat al asr. Kalamma ra'a nafsuhu qad saha, wa la ya'lam ma huwa fi waqa'at al thalitha amal ba'an. And then he catches himself, he realizes that he's, so he's doubt, he's in doubt, is it the third or, or the fourth unit of prayer now? So this person we say that he has doubt concerning the Salah. He doesn't know how many is prayed. So he has doubt that I pray three or four, that I pray three or four. So now he's here. So now he has, he's, he has this doubt in himself that he prayed three or four. So now he's out in one of two cases. Either Either he, he focuses, he concentrates on things, he realizes he's either in the third or the fourth, and he goes to me, he realizes he's in the third or the fourth. After he was in a state of doubt, the person he thinks about it for a minute and he realizes he's in the third or fourth, so he knows, he perceives, he understands what he is. So this sujood so this one is performed after the salam. What is the sujood called? The reason of it is what? He, he, he had doubt. But then he remembered what he worked. In the second case here, this person has doubt and he really doesn't know whether it's the third or the fourth. And he doesn't so he can't remember is he the third or the fourth, third or the fourth. If he was standing for a whole hour, he would remember whether he's the third or the fourth. هذا يقع مشكّة ولم يترجّع.